um, baked my chocolate shortbread, um, which I'm going to use to make the white chocolate ganache Oreos. Um, I decided to make the more of a mini size, so a little bit smaller, maybe an inch and a half in diameter. I'm going to uh, flip, turn over one half of them so that I can pipe the ganache. And then the other half will be the top. Um, when you're baking the shortbread, again, it's hard to see uh, when they're done because they are chocolate, but the, the outer edge gets a little bit darker and a little bit of color underneath. Um, and then as they cool, um, they get nice and crisp. So when they first come out of the oven, of course, they're a little soft. It's still hard to tell if they're cooked, but just look for that color and you'll know they're done. Okay, so that's ready. Um, the ganache, I had, the white ganache I had made um, previously and cooled in the refrigerator till it was firm. Then I put it in the mixer and with the paddle attachment, uh, mixed it. I'll put it in here so you can see it better. Um, and the reason for that is it's slightly... Um, whipping the ganache. So it aerates it a little. Um, it makes it more malleable and easy to work with so it's not so firm and you will be able to pipe it. And when you whip the air into it, it makes it a little bit lighter in color. So the white chocolate that we were given um, was very yellow in color. Um, to tell you the truth, I wasn't that crazy about it. But as you um, aerate it and uh, whip it or cream it with the paddle, it gets a little bit more ivory and less yellow. I have my pastry bag, the disposable pastry bag that I trimmed down. Um, I didn't need it so big. Um, and a plain round tip that's approximately 3 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. Okay, so to load the pastry bag, make the collar. Just folding the top over and then putting that over your hand. I'm right-handed, so I hold the pastry bag in my left hand. With my right hand, fill the pastry bag with the white chocolate ganache. Pull the collar up and then squeeze the ganache down to the bottom of the bag and twist tight. Okay, again, I'm right-handed. So my right wrist is doing all the work. I'm holding it nice and tight. You can see as I squeeze, the ganache is gonna start to come out the tip, okay? So nice and tight, I keep twisting. If I use my left hand, it's just to guide. Okay, so Following the directions of the recipe, you would go around in a circular motion and make a teardrop shape. I'm gonna to have to keep spinning the cookie. And because I chose to make these mini cookies, I really only have to go one round. I don't have to uh, do another round of teardrops inside, but I will just fill that up there. Okay, then my lid and gently press down and there's your Oreo. I probably wasn't doing that so you guys can see, I'll do it again. Okay, so cookie in my left hand, go around This uh, recipe is good practice with the pastry bag and your piping skills, even though this won't be seen um, decoratively, except for on the outside, it's still good practice. And then my lid gently pressed down and you can see 
the sides of the cookie. Okay, so I'll do another one. When you pipe, keep your ganache away, about an eighth of an inch away from the outer edge of the cookie, because when you push the top or the lid on the Oreo, it's going to uh, gently press your ganache towards the outer edge, like so, so. faster. Um, not holding them in my hand um, for all of you at home where you're not trying to show it to the video. Just leave the cookies on the sheet pan. Keep it still with one hand. Move in a circular motion. Fill the center. Just keep turning your cookie as you go. Get all of them quickly filled. And then when you're done, you can put the lids on top. And one more. Okay. Gently press the lids down. We have a plate. And there are your homemade Oreos.